Did, did Salman Abedi pray here, sir? Sir, did Salman Abedi pray here? He did attend this mosque. That's John Sweeney of the BBC asking the question and not getting an answer, but we know Salman Abedi and his family were regular attendees at this mosque. Adil Shahzeb works for BBC Urdu. He was also there while that statement was being given. He got into the mosque yesterday, the only journalist to do so. Here's how he did it. I wanted to go inside and pray, uh, but, but I was stopped uh, by the police that you are a journalist, you are not allowed in. Mm. Uh, but I explained, uh, yes, I'm a journalist, but I'm a Muslim and I need to pray. It's time to pray. Uh, then we argued for about 10, 15 minutes. The mosque administration, you know, got involved and I said to them, this is my right. It's, it's a mosque. And, you know, so I was allowed in, but with a very strict three conditions. Um, one number one will be that I won't be allowed to pray behind and with the Imam with the rest of the uh, worshippers um, so I was asked to pray in a separate corner I wasn't allowed to go left or right you know um, I was banned from speaking to any worshippers uh, and the third condition was I won't be allowed my phone taking pictures etc so I accepted all of these um, conditions which were really strange to me and never happened to me in any other mosques. So you weren't able to converse with any of the people inside? No, I wasn't able to uh, speak to them. I wasn't able to find out what happened, the way mosques work. It, it was one of those kind of mosques which was really organized and it seemed very well controlled. Uh, most of the administration people, they belong to um, uh, Arabic Muslim community. They were speaking in Arabic uh, and um, when uh, the prayer finished, uh, then the Imam normally prays after the prayers, um, you know, collective prayers. Um, but after the, as soon as the prayers finished, the Imam announced that uh, nobody, uh, no worshippers um, are allowed to speak to the media or talk about the attack. And it sounds like from what you saw inside and outside, this mosque is feeling an extraordinary amount of pressure at the moment. Well, yes, of course, uh, it, it becomes, uh, became center of the attention, um, you know, within, within, within seconds. But at the same time, uh, they had the opportunity to open up to the media and, and address the, the questions that, that has been raised, um, you know, by the press or by the, by the people. People. Yesterday in the press statement they said yes, uh, you know, Salman Abdi did not work here. Uh, okay, fair enough, but people want to know whether, you know, those reports that his younger brother was teaching a Quran uh, in the same mosque and his uh, father was well known to, you know, rest of the worshippers as well. They did not deny any of those, uh, you know, reports and people really wanted to know but this mosque in particular, I think uh, they've lost an opportunity um, to, to, to explain how things work and what Islam and Muslims are about. And that is the end of this edition of Outside Source. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.